<laughs> I think it's probably best for us to leave this road right away. There's way too many zombies here. Later on, jerks. Oh, good. Oh, good. Surrounded by two zombies. One around the corner and another one down over there. We have to go back! Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with a little bit more of the old uh, Terminus. Zombie, roguelike, surviving action. And we have made it up to day three, morning. It was getting a little bit hairy there for a second. We were bleeding out to death, but then, you know, your boy being the genius that he is, he figured out, well, maybe if it doesn't work from the item menu, maybe if I click on the crafting, oh, look at that, we can make bandages. And, you know, I was able to stop the bleeding, so. Wow. Now, that being said, a lot of you guys have told me you have picked up the game already, so hopefully you guys are having a good run. At this point, me, the teacher, has become the student because more than likely you guys have played this more than I have now. So any sort of tips you want to throw my way, by all means do so. For now, though, we did discover that Terminus is all the way up there. Let's move over here. I forget what's behind this door. Oh, <laughs> zombies are there. You know what? I'm good. As a matter of fact, I think it's very gentleman-like on occasion to just go ahead and use a window to make your exit. So, let's uncover this. Oh, hello there, zombie. <laughs> Seems you guys are all over the place now, huh? Let's move on out of here. Oh, hello. This could be uh, problematic, considering um, I don't think I'm going to have... Yep, I don't think I'm going to have enough AP to get out of this um, place. Okay, so 10 points are required. We're at 3.7. My friend, you are going to actually get to me and be able to attack me. This guy hasn't noticed me yet, though, so I think I'm fine. Let's just end the turn here. We'll have this guy to worry about, maybe... It's okay. Daddy, don't grab me. It's okay, because see, here's the thing. We're going to lose a little bit of HP now. We are bleeding, which means uh, we're susceptible now to getting um, zombie disease. But we can make bandies, we have plenty of items for that. Right now, it's a matter of just getting the hell out of Dodge. Ooh, what? What do you mean? No way, not a enough AP. Okay. 9.8. Point 0.2 is what's keeping me from leaving this area for good, alright. Are you guys want to throw down? You guys are. You guys want to die again? I'll. I'll give you sweet relief. Is that what you're looking for? All right, you scumbag. You wanna be a tough guy, huh? Tough guy. Tough guy here, huh? Move that. Let's go back over to crowbar. Let's see if we can break this one off of you. Good. And now let's come over here. What do you got for me, huh, buddy? Three point one. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. All right. Oh, he dropped the bandage too. How apropos. Alright, look, it was hairy to leave, but I think we finally got it. Oh, good God. <laughs> Just to leave the map. Oh, good. Uh, hello, my friends. I see you are the welcome committee. In a house, all items can be found with a low probability. Alright. Alright. Okay. What time is it now? Uh, we still got plenty of daytime. What we don't have, though, is the fact that all these guys are after me. You can reach me right now, which is no good. I need to get rid of at least this guy. 4.7. The zombies, by the way, the further away we're getting, you're probably noticing, but they're having a lot more HP now to keep bringing them down, so... It's something to definitely keep our eyes on. He can't reach me now, which is perfect. Two durability. So I guess it's like one durability per swing, huh? And now it's broken. <laughs> that one took 0.2. That's fine. So, we're down to 4.6, don't worry. I'm trying to just conserve to a significant degree that, um, fire axe. Need to find wooden, I think glue is what fixes that if I'm correct. So the crowbar has at least done us this favor. Um, you're gonna reach us, which is fine. As a matter of fact, don't trigger to me. What I'd like to do is prepare ourselves for this fellow right here. So I'm gonna do that by just moving over here, ending our turn, having him come to me, and then we, dest we shall destroy his life. We're also recovering HP as well, which is good. Makes me happy. Um, don't have to drop any bandits then. Let's go ahead and just attack this fella here. What's your durability? 73? Yeah, yeah, we're good for a while. Very good. Almost took him out in two hits, which would have been nice, but... Alright. Welcome committee, at least for now, has been dealt with. I definitely want to come in here, though, and hopefully... 
We can finally open something without necessarily having to crack it open and making all the noise in the world. We haven't had any luck recently popping things open normally. Everybody apparently locks their doors. It's almost like they live in LA like I do. I started blasting. Bah, bah. Zombies don't walk by the windows, please. Nope. Oh, crawler. Hello, my friend. Okay, 2.7. Do I deal with this first? I think we should. So for this one. Okay, so now that that's done. Let me move away from window view, and let's start searching. Not enough AP, of course. What's my end turn? Oh, it's return. Spacebar would have been nice, but okay. I got a guy, I, like, I'm not familiar with the game enough to remember all those shortcuts. I know I is inventory. For some reason, W brings up map. I'm so used to, you know, M for map, but you know, there's a couple of things here you gotta learn. Crafting at least is C, which does make sense. Search. What do we got? Chips and aluminum bat. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, an actual kind of weapon to give my fire axe a break all the time. As a matter of fact, how are you as a weapon? A straight up weapon. 1.8 to 2.2. Durability isn't that great. Head attack is 50% light. It's a good weapon for the legs, but it does suffer quite a bit in head attack and body attacks, unfortunately. Nobody roll through this window, please. I just want to put a cover there so I could. <sighs> um, obviously, we have to kill this individual right now, so change weapon. Uh, 1.9 to 2.3. Yeah, we'll definitely take this one. Not enough for the kill, but at least two turns should bring it out. Okay. Now then. Take this. Do I cover this at this point? I, I guess I probably will. And that's already been searched. Search through here. Can meal wrench and tool parts. I don't know, man. I think we might actually have to stay out here this night. Because it's going to be nighttime pretty soon. And you know how terrible it is. I mean, my flashlight obviously has no more charges left. So going out there at darkness sounds like a terrible idea. At least we could find a flashlight and then we could travel. Otherwise, I think it's probably best for us to stay here. Guidebook. The place you know is displayed on the map. So this Todd is about a restaurant on the map, which is oh, all the way over there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be going ahead and uh, traveling all the way there for a restaurant. There's nothing here. Although there's windows. Furniture. Search it. Ooh. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Machete. Okay, now it's time for us to leave. Uh, before I do it, let me peek. There's the exit there, the exit there, and who knows where the exit through here is. But at least, for the most part, it doesn't look like there's too many zombies around there. Again, though, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to sit here. Nighttime is approaching. Oh, man. I really shouldn't leave. I should stay here. I just don't have the patience to stay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Close that door. Okay. Ideally speaking, because they're not red, I have to imagine they didn't activate to me opening that door. That said... Um... Can I make it here and cover that window up? Yes. You know what, boys? Hunker down. I think we're staying here for the night. Two hours later. Okay, we are cutting back in one hour away from sunrise. So all I did was chill, eat some cereal, read a couple of books, you know, just had a nice little time. It was like, you know, a just me moment. Everything's looking pretty good. What I did find out, though, luckily by doing this, is that I was wrong about the novels. The novels actually do wear off after time. So the more you read them, the morale they actually recover starts dropping little by little until it finally just starts drops to a one. So I ended up dropping all the ones that Dropped to a 1, I went back and I picked up the ones that I dropped earlier, there was still at 5s, so now this one's at 3, this one's still at 5, but it does indeed have diminishing returns after a while, obviously. You can only read the same book so much before your morale stops going up. We just need enough action points to step out and get through there. That's all we gotta do. Hopefully there's no zombies standing in that square right there, that'd be a problem. Um, let us end turn. Give me all my AP back. Thank you. Daytime's here. Let's uncover. It's gonna cost me an AP, uh, one AP, but so be it. Now, I guess I have to open it straight up. If I go through it, I'll cut myself, which is no good. 2.4. Hello, Zambos. We are... We're out of here, boys. All right. <laughs> Again, I... Oh, God! <laughs> 
now you here 4.4 we got to make this count because we got two shots we got to bring you down two shots so we have to go definitely fire axe with you we can't risk it with the crowbar because there's a chance that we're not going to kill you with two crowbar hits so no definitely have to go with the old fire axe for this one and that's going to definitely guarantee you as a matter of fact as a matter of fact i could kill you in one swing with the fire axe right now our estimated damage is off the chain right now. Holy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. You dropped well, car fuel. How about that? I guess we could find vehicles. I mean, I keep seeing car fuel. I mean, it must be here for a reason, right? I can't move to that square, unfortunately. So let's end our turn. Now we're in another house, but it's still early enough that maybe we could hop in here, loot, and then exit. Luckily, we know the path out of here is to the north, which is good. So in reality, I think taking the west exit was probably the best one. For now though, let's grab what we can here. Zombo over there. Deal with the Zombo now or later. Eh, he hasn't spotted me, so let's ignore it for now. Oh good. That's what you want to see. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what, maybe this is a house isn't really too crucial, right? I think we, we keep moving forward. We're not going to stop in this one. You don't necessarily have to stop in everyone, you know what I'm saying? We do it because we're always trying to look for that, you know, that piece of losing to turn everything around for us, but... I think sometimes it's just best to keep moving. Discovered a new place. And I have discovered a zombie. A zombie which is going to... Luckily, he can't reach me this turn. Um, okay. 2.2. 2. How's our map looking like now? Current location. Okay. You know what? We're maybe, perhaps, making it towards these railroad tracks. Enough for the kill? Yes. Good. So, I mean, let's switch over to a somewhat capable weapon here to start off with. All right. Let's see. We got, you know, 11 hours till sunset. I'm not committing myself to staying in this one, but maybe. There's a zombie right there waiting for me, too. The problem with this zombie is that he's going to break this window, make a lot more noise, and draw more attention. Oh, there's another one over there. Luckily, he could only make it next to me. He cannot attack, even if he does notice us. Am I going to have enough AP? Oh, it's locked. So I was hoping I could open the door, kill him, before he starts banging on the window, making noise, and alerting the other guy to us. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Okay. Do you open? Yes. That one does open. So it's zombie still over there, smashing that window. Hasn't been taken it down just It must be a reinforced window, apparently. Furniture. What do we got? Rotten meat and rotten bananas. Mmm. So this could be a, um... Just very bad luck, or just the fact that... Since we're progressing further and further, time is also... Passing all around for all the items around. Some of the items we could have found earlier, by this point, have rotten by the time we get to them. I gotta move here and cover. Ooh. Thank God we had enough to cover. Okay, so we know this exit as well. West is a possibility. We have nine hours till sunset, obviously, so we could still keep moving. Another unidentified place. Let's move up here. We don't have enough to search that, obviously. I'm not going to pick that up. This is leading me to where the zombie that I just realized. Is he still working in that window? Yes. Well. With any luck, maybe he's heading outside, so <laughs> little does he know we're actually in the same room as Ian. We're just behind him. Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. MP3 player. Ooh, we got survival skills for surviving. Perfect. Tool expertise. Tool durability, 100%. I like that. Sharp ears, minimum of audible sound. Minimum of audible sounds. So, I could probably, I guess, listen to where zombies are around a bit more keen than before. Keepsake collector. Oh, that's one of the things that we could have read that book for. Chance to get an item when killing a zombie. Ooh. I mean, let's be honest here. We kill, we kill our fair share of zombies, don't we? I'm gonna get that. I feel like we, get, we kill our fair share of zombies, so having that could probably be useful. Let's at least check this one. I think we'll be safe with this, and then we'll make a judgment call on the other one over there. Yeah, it's more than likely he's probably stepped out. Tool parts. 
He's still there. He's actually still there. We just heard the... Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Hmm. You know what? Let's not risk. What time is it? We got seven hours. But again, we can now travel at nighttime because at least we have a flashlight. Not really something I recommend, but... If we get stuck out there, we have no choice. Six hours? I mean, we're not staying in here with a zombie inside the house with us anyway. I could kill him, but then that window's broken. They'll probably start swarming in here. I mean, don't even uncover it, right? Just straight up open this. Hello, zombie. Twelve? Um, we could actually go north if we want to. We need 15. 15.4. We have 16.7. We can make it through there. And 10. 13 points. We could actually make it through any of these exits that we want. So now we make a choice. I'm going to go north. Let's go for it. We have discovered the railroad. It's a railroad that isn't in operation. It's connected by the terminus. There's a fence here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Consumes an extra 10 AP when climbing over. Can cause sprains. I should, I should have gone west. I should have gone west. Let's at least uh, start taking a look what's around here. A lot of zombies. Ooh. You can move without consuming extra AP. Zombies can enter. But there's also an exit out. So if we don't necessarily want to continue on this railroad, we can step out towards the west. Now this bad boy right here is going to step out, obviously. So let's end our turn right here. Oh, he's going to go after the fence instead. All right. It's going to make a bit of noise, which is a little bit annoying. 31.7. I should have checked how much that had beforehand, had I known. He's not going to bring it down in one, in one, you know, attack through there, right? Although, he could probably now consider going out that fence. Maybe. He could. A lot of zombies are here, gathering up. I don't see any of them bringing it. By the way, this area, it's not good. There's a lot of zombies in here. I think it's probably best for us to exit onto the west. Um, let's end our turn here. You're not bringing the fence down right now. Don't even think about it. Oh, wait. The Stop it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably best for us to leave this world right away. There's way too many zombies here. Later on, jerks. Oh, good. Oh, good. Surrounded by two zombies. One around the corner and another one down over there. <laughs> and look at the daytime. Two more hours before the cell comes crashing down on us. All right, all right, all right, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so we gotta do, we gotta kill some zombies really quickly. One hit kills. We have enough AP to take these guys down, it's fine. Um, but we gotta go fire axe for sure. It's down. Drop some items too, that's right, we just picked up that one uh, skill, so. In a way, this is kind of a welcome. We could kill this guy. Yes. It's cold, yeah, I know, buddy. So we have Zombie there. Now, mind you, he's only there. He hasn't necessarily spotted us. So, at least for now... Ooh, that's already been broken down. The, there's a book here, too. Oh, that's what he dropped. The concern right now is that temperature is very, very low. Um, and chances are... It's not going to be any better inside because of this being cracked. So what we might have to do is... um. I'm not sure if using our boards is enough to not only reinforce this, there's a zombie in there too. Not only reinforce the door, but also make sure that the air doesn't seep in and we can actually get warm. Otherwise, we continue going north. Because this area feels like it's kind of problematic. But look, for now, let's just deal with this first. You down. Close. Broken. Even if it's closed, zombies can enter through the... Yeah, so I don't think there is a way for me to fix this. Or at least board it up, because otherwise it'd give me the option right here. Or somewhere, at least over here. Yeah. 
The temperature is what's really wearing me right now. Could it be better, probably, behind one of these doors where it's not broken? It's a possibility. Um, one that we have to take. Oh. It's not any warmer in there either. The problem, though, is that it's late. It's nighttime. So we have no choice but to chill here. He can't make it to me this turn, which is good. Let's close this off. I should have enough to come over here and cover. And turn. We gotta take care of the zombie. And then we're hunkering down here for the night. Probably what I'm thinking the best situation right now would be is to... Maybe even ignore those windows. So bring the zombie down, because he knows that we're here. Oh, that's right. Gotta turn this on. Let's bring the zombie down. Let's start looting about. Unfortunately, we're way over time. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We have made it over to night four. Hours, a couple of hours away from day five. Um, where we started off really good. Everything was looking amazing. Now everything is very low. There's a lot of these things that we can fix right now. Warmth is starting to actually go up now, thankfully. So, yes. Warm's not going to be a problem. We have food. And we have books to read. And energy, we just got to rest. You know what? We're going to make it. Day five is definitely within our grasp. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to see some more, do let me know. I'll come back and continue this run going. I know you're hungry, dude. I know. I'll catch you guys next time.